This right here is one heck of a log. Let me tell you, I've been thinking about this log all weekend. I loaded up on the mill Friday with the tractor. And man, I've been trying to brainstorm. I've come out here a few times to look at it and try to figure out the best way for us to slab this thing without having a lot of loss on it. Because uh, it's actually too big for this sawmill. I'm gonna have to trim off the sides just a little. But uh, we'll get to fit in there and there's gonna be some nice stuff hiding in here, I'm hoping. This log came from Virginia last week over at the log yard. It was part of that video that I done last uh, Thursday or Friday, that short little video showing the logs coming over. But uh, we'll make the best of it here and it should be a, just a awesome log right here. It's just a massive walnut. You can't beat walnut like this, yes, eight footers. Good stuff right here, good stuff. Real quick before I go over the measurements, the uh, first thing is I appreciate you guys that came out to the Makerspace Saturday. And I hope to do something like that again real soon. I've got to run down to Georgia for a sawmill event the first week of April. And I may stop in Atlanta on the way down and do a similar thing if I can find somewhere to have a meetup down there. Or I may just do it at the Woodmiser location down there in Newman, Georgia. I talk to those guys and see if they mind me doing that. But if any of you guys live close to the Atlanta area, Leave me a comment below if you'd like to do a little meetup, maybe the 1st of April, maybe the first Thursday. That's what I'm looking at probably, if I do it. So just leave me a comment below. I'm kind of curious if anybody lives in that area that's watching this stuff. And another thing is today, we got some new saw horses. I've been using these little flimsy metal ones for the past few videos because my wooden ones have insulation stacked on them. Buddy, my Brad, he's building a house about 20 minutes from here. And that's where actually a lot of the cherry came from that we've been sawing here on the channel. And I got a lot of cherry left to saw. And I think he's got another big cherry we're gonna take down here soon. But anyways, he built me some saw horses about a week ago and we got them up here beside the mill today. We'll be using those for the slabs. Let's go over the measurements here and I'll give you guys an idea of what I'm thinking. Cause I'm gonna try to get the best slabs out of this log without a lot of waste. This is an eight foot log and right here in the middle, we're on the operator side of the log. This is not a hole or rod or nothing like that. This is actually where the hinge wood was cause it's right here on the crease of his face cut that kept this tree standing whenever the logger was taking it down. So this is no, you know, this is not a defect or nothing like that, it's okay. It looks kinda like a, maybe some rod in there or something if you just glance at it, but it's actually the hinge wood. So we're good to go right there. The diameter down here, 27 inches. And as you guys know, that's way too big for the LT35. I mean, you can break the log down this size, but you can't slab that wide. We're gonna have to trim off the sides just a little to fit this through the mass of the sawmill. Okay, down here on the other end of the log, this is where my focus is gonna be on trying to get the best yield from this timber right here on top. It's flat right here because this is where a limb came out, so we got some crotch wood that should be right in here below it. Now, ideally, you'd want that limb left on there a foot or two, just to get more crotch wood and the widest slab possible. I don't want to cut anything off of this. If I can help it, I want to take my cut from the opposite side here when I want to trim down my width so it will fit because right here is where the crotch wood's going to be hiding. And uh, with this limb being cut off, you know, you don't want to take off any more of this, you're going to lose your value right there in your figure. So I'm going to flip it 180 degrees and do a, probably another cut and try to get this thing trimmed down to where we can fit it in the mass of the mill. And then we'll put it on its side and try to have this crotch wood area parallel with the blade and start making our slab cuts. We should get a lot of slabs out of this log. And if I slab it that way, we're looking at 20 inches. So, gosh, probably eight slabs maybe, something like that. That's be a lot of wood out of this tree. The diameter down here is 23 inches one way, and it's 20 inches the way I'm gonna be cutting it. So, we'll see what happens here. Hopefully I can get it trimmed down and not lose a lot of wood and still get some fantastic 20 plus inch wide slab. Here's another view of what I'm talking about down here, guys. Here's that flat cut where that limb came out. And here's the end of the log.
right guys, here's the first slab. We're using these brand new saw horses today that Brad built me. I mean, these things are tall. This is the perfect height for me. If you're watching Brad, I sure do appreciate you building these for us. All right guys, this is the Bart side of the first slab. Nothing going on here, but a lot of sap wood, and that's what you expect on your first cut usually. Let's flip it over, see what's going on underneath it. Not too bad. A lot of sap wood on this side, but we do have some heartwood coming up here in the middle. And this heartwood will get wider the deeper I cut into that log. Okay, here's the best face on slab number two. And this is fantastic right here. Over in the side of the slab, we got a knot that's already gave way and made a hole right there. It goes in about an inch. That's no big deal. When you kiln dry this and make it into a table, you pour some epoxy in there with a little bit of black dye. It just looks like a big knot, looks like a part of the slab. So this isn't a defect at all in my opinion. I wish it wasn't there, but it doesn't downgrade it a bit. But we got some nice stuff going on right here. Watch what I think it's there. It's gonna be hard to see it without putting the water on it. There's our crotch figure, guys, and that is some very wide crotch figure. Now these slabs are nine quarter, which is two and a quarter inches thick. They're eight feet long. And check out the width of this crotch figure, eight inches. I mean, that is extremely wide for that much figure to be going on right there. This is beautiful right here. This is amazing stuff. This is why you take your time and just really focus on your sawing. Our width up here at the top, 21 inches, and it flares out just a little bit down below to 23. So that's a nice slab right there. 22, 23 inches wide, eight feet long. Hard to beat. I'm gonna shut up guys. We'll cut one more slab off that log. Then we'll put a new blade on. The next slab will probably be better than this one. Man, that's nice. guys here's the top side of the third slab and uh, we should have some good crotch figure in here but judging by what I just saw when I was taking this off and the rest of the log the underside of this thing should be pretty special got that same knot and it stops right there it goes down about a half inch we'll throw some water on this side anyways because we do have some nice figure coming down here in the middle more of the same on this slab just like the other one we just took off we got this fantastic crotch figure going on here in the middle let me flip this one over because I'm thinking the underside of this slab is going to be the best face of it even though we got all this fantastic figure going on here these things are not light and there it is let's get the dust knocked off of it this is the best face right here Hardly any sap wood at all. Will my call in? Will my wagon in leave? The falling of leaves. Colorado, 
Ridgeway Rodeo scene My valley of dreams Mama's gone now All we have is our hearts And dimes for the road The hills are starving Dust is all that we breathe Long leaving weave But where do we go? Where will we go, my love? Where will we go? Oh,